Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to my review of this knife. This is the Ontario Knife Company SK4, and you are at the We All Juggle Knives channel. I'm going to review this as a bushcraft folder. We're going to put this knife through its paces in this video. Lots of usage footage coming up. The blade length on this knife is 4 inches. The steel is 154 cm. Uh, the handle scales are textured G10. Here's the first task, carving into a fairly hard and dry piece of wood. Knife came well sharp enough to whittle or do woodwork with. Now one of my subscribers uh, was telling me that he purchased this knife after seeing it in one of my just like show and tell videos when I first got the knife. And he's been waiting ever since then for the full review. All right, well, here you go, man. We had uh, good weather that day. I, I got out there, we're at a stay-at-home order, but I can do this. All right, sped that footage up because you get the idea. Making progress towards making a pointy stick of doom. Now, there's a couple versions of this knife. There's also an SK5, which basically kind of like this knife, but 5 inches instead of 4 inches in blade length, right? I chose this one because... I felt the shorter length might be more convenient and it's closer to the length of a lot of Mora knives. I felt it would be appealing to many of the bushcrafters out there. All right, as you see, making more progress towards the pointy stick. All right, that, that's the uh, sandpaper smoothing it out. All right, but so yeah, there's an SK5 version. I will include links to the different models of this in the text description box so you can check them all out make your decision okay so the moral of the story came very sharp sharp enough to uh, whittle with vampires watch out we got a stake there all right next task i'm go going to make two grooves then connect them to construct a notch and just with some nice easy batoning don't want to go too crazy with like crazy hard batoning because uh it's a small knife. Ontario Knife Company makes some good stuff. I will include uh, my top picks for Ontario Knife Company in the text description box. Uh, I have a really nice machete made by the same company. Right, and this knife is made in the USA, uh, at least according to Knife Center, it is. All right, so there you saw I batoned those two grooves and now removing the material in between. It's a pretty good workout for that edge because as you can probably tell that wood is it's pretty dry, pretty dry and tough. So we're making notches and with a notch like that you can then make pieces of a, of a trap or fit it together, make a part of a shelter or whatnot. So that's the the mystique of notches. But yeah, OKC or Ontario Knife Company uh, I've had a lot of their blades in the past. They make some uh, good military blades. All right, so there's the big notch. Now, I made it wide because the blade is kind of wide, so it's easier to get in between those two grooves if they were farther apart. Uh, yeah, that's just some woodwork. Got more notches. These are easier notches that you can just uh, make by pushing in because that's a that branch is just much softer than the firewood. But we can always use more practice making notches and so making some easy V notches on the notch stick, which is a stick that you practice your notches on, which I saw I saw on uh, the YouTube bushcraft channels. So I hope you're all doing well. We got, you know, stay at home type orders, social distance orders and whatnot, depending on where you live, what country, what state. But hope you're all finding things to do. I know I am. I'm reviewing, reviewing more knives, filming, filming more videos for you, hoping to give you at least a, just a little bit of, of entertainment. All right, so that's just some of the uh, woodwork type stuff you can do with this OKC knife. One more uh, woodsy task, drilling a divot. Now the tip of this, it, it gets broad quickly, and so it's, it's actually pretty good for drilling a divot, and it's a fairly strong even though the uh it's it's not like a super thick knife but just the shape of the tip it's fairly strong simple and strong making some kindling again it's a short knife so 
I'm not going to go super crazy with batoning, but I can make kindling with it or I can make more thin little sticks to carve into uh, whatever I want. I, mean, I, I could just carve like 10 different spikes and make a bed of spikes. How about that? Now, one of the benefits of the full flat grind versus a Scandi is that for batoning like this, where perhaps you are trying to micromanage the thickness of a piece of wood because you do want to carve it, I always use a full flat for that type of, of sizing a piece of wood for woodwork because it just tends to go straighter through it. It's just, it's just more precise when uh, using it for that purpose. Uh, a full flat grind is also um, easier to slice up food with, I find. All right, so just in a, a minute or two, I made a bunch of kindling, you know, kindling or carving sticks. All right, speaking of food, doing some food preparation with this knife. I sped up the footage because, you know, you get the idea. But as I was saying, this being a full flat grind, it actually... Uh, was more similar to a, a kitchen utility type knife, but it is thicker. But it did well at the the camp uh, kitchen chores, so this would be a nice uh, camp camp kitchen knife for the out of doors as well. Speaking of a sharp edge, initial sharpness, listen to this. Yeah, it, it did did very well. All right, so that was filmed when I first got it before using it for stuff. So that was the initial sharpness. All right, here is the sheath that it came with. It is Molly compatible, as you see there. It also has a belt loop. It has a single retaining strap that is adjustable, which has a button closure. And it's got a plastic insert, you see there. All right, now the, the plastic insert does not hold it in but the retaining strap does, right? So it's good that that's adjustable because you, you want that tight so it doesn't fall out, right? So the insert is not molded to the blade. That, that is the sheath that it came with. Now here is a comparison with another OKC knife. This is their uh, Air Force survival knife, right? Very pointed. It's kind of a classic, iconic military knife. I thought it'd be interesting to compare these two midsize fixed blades from the same company but different missions, right? The Blackbird, you know, the bushcraft knife, it's just shorter, easier to carry. The handle is shorter as well, right? And the tangs are different, right? The military knife, more of a traditional style, like with your USMC K-Bar, it's got an internal tang, right? Whereas, and it's got a, a hammer surface at the end, making the, the, the handle a lot longer than on the bushcraft knife, knife, which has a simple but effective handle design and a true full tang. But yeah, that survival knife is a classic, right? That will be one of the links for my, uh, my favorite Ontario knives in the text description box. All right, going to use it as a striker. That is my fire steel. The spine is well sharp enough should you wish to use it for this purpose. Right, not, not that you need to. You can just carry a separate striker, but that was quick and easy. And those shavings are shavings I got from uh, Whitling as like the Whitling you saw early, earlier in the video. All right, so as you watch that, what are my final thoughts on this Blackbird SK-4? I like it a lot. It's easy to carry. It has a very simple and pleasing shape. Like not only is the blade four inches, but the handle is also four inches, so you've got symmetry there. Uh, you've also got symmetry like the tip design, which reminds me of uh, the Kephart style, but this is maybe a little wider than many Kepharts would be, but you can do a lot of stuff with it. You can prepare food. You can do lots of woodwork and bushcraft with it. Uh, it was $105 when I bought it last year, uh, so a little bit pricey, but it'll definitely serve you well. I like the handle. It's short, but not too short. I wear a large size glove and it was fine for me. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like videos where a lot of different cutting tasks are shown in the review, feel free to subscribe, right? And I like those type of videos because I don't really have to say anything wise 
about the knife. You see what it does. Most people de can decide if they turn the volume off, they could still know if they like it. That's my goal. All right, so try to use those links in the text box as well because they help the channel and I really appreciate that. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.